Hello. Hello. Thanks so much for spending this Thank time you. with us. Thank you. Hello. Would you like to take a seat? What was it that brought you, what, what personal beliefs brought you to the church? According to our traditions in Egypt, we start in our churches in Sunday schools. Therefore, we drink the church uh, from the first years of uh, our age. And uh, step by step, we know everything about the church. And uh, finally, uh, God chosen us to be uh, the patriarch and the Pope of Alexandria. And uh, I have many dreams for my church and uh, try to organize everything in the church. One of those dreams that you spoke about when you arrived in Australia was a new Egypt. In your mind, what does a new Egypt look like? All Egyptians have many dreams to build the new Egypt. The new Egypt with a good economy, with good education, with good law, uh, and also with good media. This is the new Egypt which we uh, uh, hope to be. How far are we away from your dream, do you think, now? <laughs> many years. Many years. When you became the Pope, I remember you spoke publicly about how you felt that the church in Egypt should withdraw from politics, that its role was more of a, a spiritual and social guide. But shortly after that, only months after that, um, I believe you were part of the group that endorsed the removal of, of Morsi. What has changed in your mind about the role of the church in Egyptian life? I think that the main role of the church is a spiritual role. And uh, the Coptic Orthodox Church, as a national church, uh, considered as a church separate completely from the politics. But uh, our participation in that revolution uh, was through citizenship. Because in addition to the spiritual role, we have also social role social role to serve our society. We are Egyptians. We must serve our society. We must keep our society and also keep our national unity with other Egyptians. This is very important for the history of the church. The church from uh, the first century is considered as separate from any politics at all, but in the same time, must share in the social affairs and citizenship affairs. How do you draw that line? It's a very fine line to walk. Uh, this very uh, thin line. Uh, but uh, for our history, for me, I don't know anything about the politics at all. When you look back at what happened in 2013 and, and the church making a statement, about the removal of Morsi. Do you feel that that may have perhaps made some Christians a target in, in Egypt? And do you have any regrets about that? I would like to explain that the removing of uh, uh, Dr. Morsi was not from the Christians, was from all Egyptians. All Egyptian Muslims and the Christians uh, sharing together for this removing. Uh, therefore, we consider this uh, revolution is a popular revolution in Egypt. It was very fantastic. More than 30 million were in the streets. And uh, after that removing, there is big happiness in every house in Egypt. Uh, Therefore, uh, starting the new beginning in Egypt uh, is, uh, is our hope, our hope for all Egyptians. There have been so many attacks that have happened recently on, on Christian congregations in Egypt. How do you feel towards 
the people who call themselves Islamic State. We are, as Egyptians, love our country and uh, try to keep it. But uh, there are some feeling of fear from the behavior of that groups against not only Egypt, but against all the Arab countries. And uh, that terrorism extended to outside the Middle East area. But uh, uh, our, uh, our country are exposed to that uh, attacks from, uh, from these groups of terror, from violence against not only uh, churches or uh, Christians, but also against the army forces, against the police forces, against another places in Egypt. And we are uh, now in war against that terrorism and against this uh, violence. How does a, a religion that professes so much love, how do you reconcile the idea of, of that love and the fear and the war that one is at with, with terror? Before these attacks, we pray for, uh, the, for those who uh, make these attacks against our people, against Egyptians, against churches, and also we love them. And we uh, forgive for them. And uh, waiting to change their hearts to be good. This is uh, considered as evil. If you were to be addressing the perpetrators of the attacks that have taken place over the last few months, if you could address them directly, what would you be saying to them? Please stop that uh, bad behavior and uh, that violence. And uh, please uh, start a new beginning to uh, react with the societies and uh, making together a good future for all people. You, you spoke about um, martyrs. Yes. And there's a desire for martyrdom in the religion. We are the church of martyrs, yes. But there's also, you mentioned now, fear. Yes. How do you reconcile, how do you make peace? The fear is considered as a human feeling, of course. But in the same time, we have the power of faith in our hearts. And uh, there is a special feast every day, every year, about the martyrs in the Coptic Church. And uh, I would like to say that uh, in our churches, we read every day a story about the martyrs from our history. After the attacks in Egypt, last attacks in last December, in last uh, April, uh, our churches was veil, filled, was full from uh, the believers. Uh, if you visit our churches during the Holy Week, the last Holy Week was very, very crowded. Um, in uh, last August was a feast for the Saint Virgin Mary and the big festival and the big celebration in Upper Egypt. This celebration continued for 15 days. About three million of Christians attend that celebration. This is increased this year. Uh, all this strengthened our way uh, and our faith. So in a way, these these attacks, some of which have been claimed by Islamic State, strengthen people's faith? Yes, yes. Um, you'll be meeting with Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull before you, you leave for Egypt. What will be on the agenda for that meeting? I think that it is uh, suitable to thank him for uh, all cooperation with the uh, communities, including the Coptic community here in Australia, and also uh, to encourage the Australian government to help Egypt 
because Egypt suffered now from some problems like uh, economy problems, like education problems, uh, and also some problems in the media. Uh, I think that <coughs> the friendship between Australia and Egypt uh, can help Egypt to be more and more in uh, good condition. When you say in good condition, do you mean more liberal? No, but according to our traditions. Uh, it is important to keep our traditions. Thank you so very much Thank for your you. time. Thank you.